Hey, it's Kevin. Thank you for coming by for the No BS Social Media Chat. Over the last few weeks, we've been talking about some of the basics of social media, some of the basics that never go away. Some topics we've talked about literally since day one of these videos, some topics we talk about literally every day to our clients, and also talk to people about social media just in general. One of those topics I think I've honestly touched on, or at least mentioned, in every single episode we've done. I may be off an episode or two, but it's about seeking shortcuts. It is human nature to want to seek the path of least resistance, to want to seek the ability to get from point A to point B the quickest. That's how we drive our cars. How can I get there quickest? Sometimes that means we speed. Sometimes that means you know, we, we go with a certain way of traffic. Well, it's the same thing with social media. We're all seeking shortcuts to social media success, whatever that success might be. The bottom line is while I understand the desire to seek shortcuts, well, I've played the shortcut games for myself, for clients, for everybody involved. In social media, I hate to say this, it may be a short-term win if you seek a shortcut, but it could be a long-term loss. And here's why I say that. Social media, at the end of the day, no matter what we use it for, is about building relationships. It's a great relationship tool. It's a way to build a bond with a product, a human being, whatever it is, to interact the two together. In your case, building your personal brand, it's about bonding between you and the social media fan, follower, and friend. Sure, we want to get the most amount of followers, the most amount of likes, the most amount of comments, the most amount of views, whatever, whatever each site wants. And while that's great, the question is, is it worth seeking shortcuts to get that? As I've talked about before, and it almost goes hand in hand with shortcuts, everybody always says to me, well, how can I create some content that goes viral? How can I create content that, that you know, zooms to the stratosphere? And I said, well, I wish I could tell you how to do that, because if I could, you wouldn't be able to afford me. I'd be done, and I'd be sitting on an island. It's, you know, creating something viral, you can, you can think you have something that's, oh, man, this is going to be big, I'm going to see big numbers from it, and you might, you might not. But something that goes truly viral, something that takes that shortcut to the stratosphere, well, you really can't predict it. Sure, it may involve a baby, it may involve a pet, it may involve something silly or something stupid or something dumb. A, a lot of videos, it's all silly stuff that gets viral. Or it's sadly, it's, it's tragic stuff. Police officers being shot, suspects being maimed, being mugged, being har- whatever it is, being harmed. Those things go viral. But for what you're doing to build your brand, can you really create something viral? I'll be honest with you, I don't know if it's even possible. But it's at least something worth thinking about. But the key is, is, is don't focus your time and effort on the shortcut. Don't focus your time and effort on trying to get there as fast as you can. I, I've said this before. It goes back to the marathon versus sprint analogy we talk about oh so many times. With social media, yeah, you want to get there as fast as you can. But if you get there and you bore people and, and they fall away just as fast, you've defeated the purpose. You want to get people, build a relationship with them, and get them to stay around for a long, long time. It's almost part of that whole long tail thing that was going around for a while, my, Malcolm Gladwell's uh, feelings. You know, you, you want to get people to get interested now and to stay with you forever. That's the challenge, and that is something that you can't seek shortcuts for. You've got to put in the work. You've got to put in the time. You've got to put in the effort. You've got to do all of those things to make it work with social media. Sure, there are shortcuts. Yeah, you can use tools. I guess that's a shortcut. But if you're, if you're trying to do things like you know, buy followers, if you're trying to buy plays, if you're trying to buy likes. It's one thing to advertise. It's one thing to advertise getting your content in front of people who might not see it in the first place. But if you're just trying to get it for a number, that's the wrong way to do it. I bought the Facebook ads. I bought the fake followers. I've, I've done all those things. Sometimes I've been instructed to do it. I've done it too just to experiment to see if it's really worth it. And well, yeah, you can buy them. They're not real. They're not going to interact. So what's the point other than just having a number to brag about? Well, Perhaps you need just a number to brag about. Okay, then you kind of look at it and say, okay, is it worth doing? Is it going to make me look foolish? There are ways to look right through those things and see how many are fake followers. There are now tools that can pretty much tell you how many, how many fake followers you have on every account around. And sometimes they'll, they'll bust you and they'll knock you down and they'll lock you out for a while. So, well, yes, we want the shortest path of resistance. We want the shortest path to success. It's not necessarily worth it if we're going to lose in the long run. Short-term gains don't necessarily play in the long run. I know you want shortcuts. Put in the time, put in the effort, put in the work. I promise you, if you work hard, if you work smart, it will pay off. 
Back next week with the No BS Social Media Chat. NoBSSocial.com, all the, all the videos right there if you want to go back and look through the archives. You can also find us online, IntensityMedia.com, our website. It's basically just a sign-up form for the most part, because really the best way to find out about what we do and who we are, if you haven't figured that out by the videos, my phone number, my email address coming up here at the end of the video, I invite you to reach out, to call, to text, to email, whatever it is, let's talk one-on-one. -on -one. We'll find out what your needs are and see if we can help you out. Back next week with a No BS Chat. Thank you so much. See ya.